I'm Shamel with the Auto Dealer Business School, and here are the North Carolina Auto Dealer Licensing Requirements. Now, as always, I just have to say, you want to make sure you choose which license you are applying for. And if you're not sure which license to apply for, then there are a couple of things I suggest you do. One, step one is there is a pre-licensing course required in North Carolina for the application process. It is a 12 hour licensing course. And I suggest you take this course first and then you talk to the people there about um, their take on a wholesale license or re versus retail license or um, any of the licenses that they offer there that you're considering. Just my own opinion from my own experience and from people who I've worked with and mentored, it seems that the retail license is the way to go because it allows you all the cookies in the cookie jar. So if you want to be able to retail to the public, then you need to have the retail license. So then step two is to get your location. And in North Carolina, you need to have an office space with 96 square feet of floor space. And in for a wholesale license, you need to have an office space with 96 square feet of floor space. Um, I think the one I need to update this, uh, my notes, because I believe the um, for the established sales room for the auto dealer license, you need to have some parking spaces, but I don't see that listed here. But I do remember reading that, so I definitely will update that. Uh, and then there are also some other requirements for you to read below. Now, a lot of people really freak out about the location because it's their first time getting a commercial location. They're like, how in the world do you get a, a commercial location? Uh, well, there are a couple of resources I want to offer you. So Craigslist has a commercial uh, real estate section where you can search auto dealer and you can find what uh, spaces are leasing to auto dealers or that are listing, listing auto dealers as a potential business in their space. Then also you can follow the auto dealers. So you can reverse search cars that you find for sale or auto dealers you know about and see where they're leasing and then see if there are any vacancies in that space. Or you can get a real estate agent who is savvy with the commercial property to find you a spot. But either way, other people can find a spot, so you can too. Um, and you'll be able to find one in your budget if that is what you set out to do. So then step three is your bond. In North in North Carolina, your bond needs to be $50,000 for your first location and then $25,000 for each additional. Now, I didn't know what a bond was in the beginning, so I describe it now as um, an insurance policy for the public. So in case something goes wrong where you're not able to get them what they paid for, then your bond is there to cover that you only pay a percentage of the bond amount and then that percentage is based on your credit score so the lower the credit score usually the higher the percentage and i've noticed the rates um becoming favorable around 680 credit score then step four is to secure your liability insurance you need garage liability insurance in north carolina and i couldn't find details on like the coverage so that's something I would recommend you ask at the dealer training. And then step five is incorporation. You want to incorporate and you can do that um, on your own in North Carolina for the filing fee of 125. Or if you hire a service, they'll take care of that and then charge you the 125 and whatever they charge on top of that. And you, of course, want to get your employer identification number because you are going to probably want to open a bank account and you're probably going to want to pay employees like yourself. Then step six is to schedule your business inspection. So the DMV has to come out and inspect your location. And um, I didn't find any details on how to make that happen. So again, this is something you want to ask at the dealer training. So you got three things to ask at the dealer training to make sure you get information about. Then after you get that together, it's time to wrap it all up. 
put it together, submit your application. The application fee is $90 for each place of business. And then your tags there are 36 for your first five. And there are some other fees that I've listed there for you. And of course, I would be remiss if I did not tell you that this business is tricky. It, there's more to buying and selling cars than you initially think about. Like, it seems easy. You buy a car somebody wants, you sell it. But there are a lot of different things that go into buying and selling. So get yourself a mentor, and that will give you some time off of this whole learning curve of two to five years uh, for being a profitable dealer. And I've included some information there in case you want to uh, figure out how to get yourself a mentor. All right, so if you have any questions about North Carolina licensing requirements or if any of the information on the, ch the page changes, like the, uh, the pricing or the links, then let me know. You can email me at hello at autodealerbschool.com or you can list the, um, you know, send me a comment, okay? 